Hi, this is Brad Cleveland. Welcome to the Q&A series, Thriving in the New Era of Customer Relationships. Today's question is, how do you keep up with all the change taking place in customer service and the technologies and management methodologies that are part of it? Well, <laughs> thank you for the question. And I'm, I'm humbled by it because I, I know there's always room for improvement. There's so much happening. It's a challenge for really any of us, right? I, I recently reached out to some of the successful business leaders who I know and who I've had a chance to work with with essentially the same question. I wanted to see what came back from them. So I asked them, you know, how do you keep up? What sources do you turn to? Uh, how, how do you stay on top of what's happening in your profession and industry? And it's worth noting, they're, they're not all in the customer service space, but they're all very busy. They're, they're faced with an enormous amount of information to filter and process. Here's what they came back with, and I'll, I'll mention each in a word or two and then summarize them briefly. One was customers. I heard that a lot. Um, they direct, have direct conversations. They look at aggregated input through surveys, voice of the customer initiatives if it's a large organization and related. Peers and colleagues, you know, through direct contacts and conversations, meetings, listserv, conferences, uh, community forums, and so forth. Industry content providers via blogs, newsletters, books, videos, training, uh, infographics, all these sources provide focused news and information that's vetted and packaged into accessible topics. Social channels came up. Sources mentioned include LinkedIn and Twitter, Facebook, Google, Pinterest, yes, for inf information graphics, and others. You know, many commented they, they use social only for focused specific purposes or topics. General news providers came up, you know, local sources, major papers, the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times, the Financial Times, The Economist, those kinds of, of papers, various broadcast outlets. And then consultants and industry experts via reports and books and blogs and speaking forums and direct engagements. And search, which can lead to any of the above and more. And it's often cited as a first step in, in, in researching specific issues. I observed four themes in these conversations. First, these executives are intentional. A few even compared information to food diets. Keep it balanced, keep it focused, and supportive of what you need for optimum effectiveness. Second, they scale information consumption around workflow, getting really only what they need during crunch times, and they go deeper when time allows. Third, they make staying informed a priority. It's something they build into their daily habits and schedules. And finally, just about all of them mentioned that this is an area they want to continue to improve. Staying in the know requires thought and effort, a little bit of planning. You can't just wing it. Some intuition, even. And given today's fast-evolving business landscape, it's well worth the effort. I hope that's helpful, and I especially love the food diet comments that I heard. You know, keep it focused on what's going to keep you and your goals, your direction, moving in the right direction. Thanks very much for the question. I'll be back soon. Mm -hmm.